hey guys welcome back to my channel so today i'm back with another video so on this butterfly mermaid braids i'm sure you guys have been seeing these braids all over youtube and uh, all over youtube and instagram i basically saw them on instagram and i was like okay i'm gonna give this a try on my twa so yeah i uh, hope you guys will stay tuned and enjoy this tutorial so first of all you want to start off with nice clean freshly washed hair and um i did stretch my hair out by um twist out i twist out the previous night just trying out this piece this piece works by maris uh, which is in black so i could not get the clear one i just had to buy the black one and see how it goes but it did all surprise me it is a good product so what i'm doing right now is i have um, already separated where i want um, my braid to be attached on you see that little bit of hair right there and right now i'm just layering the beeswax this beeswax is a very very good hold you guys are super surprised okay it is so good do some parts on your hair and make sure that you get the beeswax like all over your hair that like what i'm doing right now okay and then you want to follow up with a little bit of just some eco styling gel just to make it easier for the beeswax to spread because this is so like sticky very very sticky and heavy okay so you need something that's gonna make it a bit looser and you know spread a bit easier so this is exactly what i'm doing right now i'm just making sure that my hair is well covered and brushing it out so that you know all my hair lays down flat because you want to make sure that your hair is flat okay and i'm using the denman brush so the next thing that i'm gonna do is i'm gonna grab a little bit of some uh, hair extension and start braiding my hair if your hair is longer than mine you don't need to use any extension you can just go ahead and braid your hair on its own okay so you want to make sure that your hair is like tucked in those cornrows honey okay so i followed up by using my spritz um you can use any spritz you prefer um this spritz doesn't give me any flaky or anything like this and i discovered that it does not react badly to the beeswax so that's why i did use it just to give me a, to give my hair that extra extra hold because you're dealing with falsy hair you guys you don't want it to start you know freezing out or you know um curling up again okay so you want to make sure that it lays damn flat okay it lays super super fast so this is a very good hold so i'm just gonna go ahead and do the other side as well just repeating the process as i did to the other side okay i hope you're enjoying this video and i also hope that you have subscribed you guys if you haven't subscribed you know where the subscribe button is okay just support your girl okay and yeah so one more thing you guys i did not invent this method like i said i saw this method everywhere floating everywhere like okay so um yeah this is just the way i do on my own twa <laughs> Back it up the way you boss in a place, na na na. Oh, yeah. Steady on time, yeah. Don't be late, na na. Said I'm in love with you, and I'ma give you anything you want, and I'ma give you anything you need. Bad man here, yeah, why I'm doing? Said I'm in love with you, and I'ma give you anything you want, and I'ma give you anything. You I'm gonna lay my hair down with the hair scarf right now and um, when I when I removed the hair scarf I figured out some of the beeswax had not melted properly so I just went ahead and used my blow dryer yeah I'm just gonna trim off the excess uh, piece of hair did some twists on there and I'm using the expression ultra braid this is the, like the normal expression braid and I'm using two pairs of hair um, when I had finished doing this I figured out that I had loads of hair I think you can definitely go ahead with only one pack of hair you guys okay you don't need to use two um one pack will give you a nice flawless kind of natural looking um braid it's gonna attach the expression braid where i left my leave out right there um just using a bit of beeswax okay and a toothbrush just like so as you can see guys my hair looks absolutely like intact like it's gonna keep braiding this braid like a three strand braid just like normal box braids actually It's a bad man thing, I hear. Oh Lord of His mercy, hey, His body, baby, oh, hey, His body, baby, oh. Pull up, it's a bad man thing. See, I'm a, hey, ah, 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 ah. It's a bad man thing, I hear. Pull up, yeah. See, ah, ah, see, 
Omo ja rude to Omo ja wale ho Say we get to bed ho So no delay See, by the end of the night she be wanting more By the end of the day they be wanting more Busting out the place and they want it more My people, them, them I want it more I'm a jar of the day I'm a jar of the day Say we get to pay to So no delay By the end of the day she be wanting more By the end of the night they be wanting more Busting out the place them I want it more so at the end of the braid, I did use a rubber band just to secure it. So at this point, you want to start, you know, fluffing out the braid to create that mermaid kind of butterfly kind of style. Okay, you want to do this um, as gently as you can. So if you make your braid super tight when you're doing your box braid or your braid, it's going to be so difficult for you to fluff it out. So you want to make sure that when you braid, you leave it a bit looser. Don't make it too tight. Okay, I wanted mine to look extra, extra messy. I didn't want it to look super defined so that's why you see me like uh, stretching it a little bit more because i wanted that big kind of braid and also kind of messy i just like it messy if you don't like it messy don't over stretch it like the way i was doing do it um the way you wanna you want to um so i'm just showing you the way i do mine okay you don't really have to do exactly what i'm doing you can achieve this hairstyle you know without even stretching it okay so i'm next thing that i'm gonna do right now is i'm gonna grab a needle and some thread curved needle is easier for me this is the one that I use for my wigs it is super easy to use when I'm doing some hair I'm not touching this braid onto my cornrow the one that I did uh, you want to make sure that you're hiding the thread it doesn't show so I'm braiding like underneath this box braid as you can see right here so I'm just gonna continue doing this until I finish and do the other side as well spring some more sprays you know just making sure that everything remains intact and you can see that guys my hair is not curling up or anything like that because of the way I did this method so you can definitely do this without using just the eco style jaw okay guys you can definitely do this my hair is lying flat okay i did use just a tiny bit of eco style gel you guys know that i'm a huge fan of eco style gel and i would achieve most of my hairstyles using eco style gel but that beeswax the combination of the beeswax and the eco style gel plus the sprays guys did some amazing job i'm gonna try and do another updo using this method so that you guys can actually see that the hold is just like perfect like super super good so yeah this is the finished look you guys i hope you guys enjoyed it and you loved it make sure you guys you don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet and thank you so much for watching you guys i'll see you guys in my next video bye for now